Okay, it's only been two minutes since I took that blue tub and dumped it on the worm bin. And that video came out yesterday. So immediately, after we clear out a bed and we have all our luscious green growth that we put in our compost, I like to replant. We always want to keep a living root in the soil. And there's still some living roots in here because not every plant uh, did I pull up. So I'm, I'll need to come in and probably do a little bit of weeding around these seedlings. But most of it's gone, so I'm going to go ahead and replant. And here's how we do that. I take my dibble and I just dibble some holes at whatever spacing I want to grow the plant I'm trying to grow. So these plants are radishes, beets, spinach, lettuce, and cilantro. So those are things that we like to eat all the time. So I'm just going to put some holes in here and I space all of those the same spacing. About six to eight inches apart. And they seem to grow really well that way. Now I'm going to take the now I'm going to take them out of the plug tray. I'm just gently going to lift them out, the root balls together, and I just place them in the ground, and that's pretty much it. Just put them in each of the holes that I dibbled, put a little dirt on top of them, and I don't really push the dirt down around them. You certainly can if you feel like you need to, but I just push a little dirt on them, and then I'm going to turn the sprinklers on, and the sprinklers will get the, the dirt settled down onto those roots. Summer is coming, so this may be the last planting of spinach that does well, because once it gets warm, spinach doesn't like it anymore. So these are spinach plants. That I'm putting in right here and I'm not too worried about what crops are following what crops if I had soil uh, disease if I had disease in my soil I would certainly want to rotate crops but gardening this way with lots of mulch lots of earthworms lots of oxygen in the soil we don't really have disease with our crops our no-till system keeps the disease from growing because we keep the soil so incredibly healthy that the disease never really happens. Okay, there's some spinach. So I'm just gonna... Right here there's some, uh, some weeds that are rooted real well. I'm going to go ahead and remove those a little bit better right before I get the plants in here. Throw those in my blue tub and we'll dibble some more holes. I feel like this is an extremely easy way to grow food. We don't have to till. I never pulled the weeds out of that romaine. It doesn't mean I don't have to. If I have weeds that are growing quite a bit, I'll certainly pull them. It's just that I didn't have enough weeds that my romaine wasn't growing. So I, it grew really well. The weeds that were growing did not hurt my romaine at all, so I just let them grow. And it looks like this is my last... That was my last uh, spinach, except for that one that I couldn't see. And one more, I think. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. Now we can come over here. 
There's a few weeds still rooted here. I'm going to pull them out. Now you notice I did not add any more compost here. I only add compost once a year. So I may plant five or six times between adding compost. So we're just going to get these in there. Dibble a bunch of holes. And I'll add some beets now. So there goes the beets in the in there. There's a spinach I missed, so we'll just put him right among the beets. And that'll be okay. you have the very best garden of your life. There are complicated things about gardening. Hopefully this has helped to simplify gardening for you. Have a wonderful gardening year this year and don't let worldwide food shortages make your family hungry.